Uh, 26 year old Joshua Holt from Utah. He is in a prison in Venezuela and he's making a plea to the people back home. Watch this. I'm calling on the people of America, I need your help to get me out of this place. I've been begging my government for two years. They say they're doing things, but I'm still here. And now my life is threatened. How long do I have to suffer here? How long do my kids have to go asking for their mommy and daddy? How long do I have to suffer? All right, we should also point out that a riot broke out inside that prison. It was just ahead of Venezuela's election, and Maduro just won it on Sunday. Joining us now is Joshua Holt's mother, Laurie Holt. Laurie, President Trump, he got three hostages out of North Korea. Any sign that he could get your son, any moves being made to get your son out of Venezuela? I have not seen anything from uh, President Trump. I know that Senator Hatch, Mia Love, the embassy there in Venezuela, um, and the State Department are working very hard to try to get him out. Um, this is what they've been telling me, and, and I just have to trust in that. Okay, now, he was uh, a Mormon missionary, I believe. It, was that the offense for which he was arrested and imprisoned, being a missionary? No, he had been home for about five months, uh, met Tamara online, um, went to Ecuador in May, um, proposed to her in May there, and then um, in June 11, on June 11th, he went to Venezuela, and they were married on June 16th. He was taken two weeks after that. Um, so the, the just, lady in the picture that we just saw, that is your son's wife, your daughter-in-law as of right now. And shortly yes. after they went to Venezuela, where they were married, he was arrested. Now, again, you've got to tell me, what were the charges? What was he arrested for? So the first time they came, they were doing a, a sweep in through the apartment complex, and the first time they came to the door, um, Josh and Tammy were very afraid um, because the National Guard do do these kind of things to um, people down there. Um, seeing that he was an American, they came in, they wanted to know what his business was. Um, he showed them all their paperwork, and they left. When 45 minutes had gone by, all of a sudden they stormed in through the apartment. They had black bags full of ammunition, weapons, uh, pineapple grenades. Um, they set them around the apartment, took pictures of them, took all of his belongings, um, phone, camera, laptop, everything, took pictures of it, took him to jail. Um, Five hours. They took about five hours for them to take him to the jail. Good Lord. Um, they they sat outside of the in an, an abandoned parking lot and sat and threatened him and hit him, um, shot bullets over the top of the truck that he was sitting in. Um, they then had Tammy bring down their their marriage certificate to the jail. Um, once she got there, they arrested her as his accomplice and started accusing them of being spies for the United States. So this is, uh, look, this is clearly a set up job. Uh, your son and his wife are, in my opinion, they are flat out hostages. Now, yes. take me to that prison again. There was a riot in that prison and during that riot, that's when your son made that video and held up the sign. That's what happened, right? Yes, yes, I was at work and I kept getting short little messages, they're trying to kill me. Mom, you've got to get help, they're trying to kill me. Um, I'm assuming he had somebody else's phone. There were very many, there were a lot of videos that were sent um, from different individuals inside the prison. Um, one of them actually sent me a video of Tammy and Josh still behind the bars in their cell, and you could see at the side where somebody, where the the people had sat and pounded into the cement to try to open up the, the doorway to get in to kill him. Good Lord. Uh, Laurie, I, I have to cut it short at this point, but look, we thank you very much for being with us. It's a, a, thank you. obviously a trying situation. Please come back and see us again. We'd like to update this situation. I would like to hear some good news. Laurie Holt, thank everyone. You. Thank you very much, ma'am.